Let's take a look at how to use the Polygon tool here in Photoshop. So on the left-hand side, we see this Rectangle tool. If we click and hold, we'll find all these different tools, including the Polygon tool. When we click on the Polygon tool and have that selected, in our top toolbar, we can actually choose the sides over here. Three sides, four, five, six. So depending on the number of sides you need with your Polygon, let's say six sides. You can select that here as a starting point. We can change this later. Now, one thing we can do is just click on our artboard or our canvas. That's gonna allow us to create a polygon at a specific width and height, whether or not it's symmetrical, number of sides, give it a corner radius, and a star ratio, which we'll look at how that affects the polygon later. And if you create it from the center out, so exactly where you clicked, or will the top right corner be where you, or top left corner be where you clicked? We could hit okay, and it creates a polygon. Now, I'm also going to show you that because we selected six sides, we can also click and drag to create a polygon. And this will allow us to actually see what we're creating while also holding shift that will create it proportionally. And we can let go. So that's not skewed at all or anything. So what's really important here is on the right hand side in the properties panel, we have this polygon shape layer selected. We can adjust some of the properties. We can adjust the width and the height, the rotation, the fill and the stroke. So the fill is the color. So like you can see the red here, the stroke, we could add a stroke of purple around it and then select the size so we can see it just like that. Okay, let's go ahead and remove that stroke. We'll click this and click the slash. So that'll remove the stroke. Then as we scroll down in here, you can see here, you can actually decide the number of sides still. So you can adjust this 10 sides, four sides, or actually three, four sides, which is a square, of course. So you can make some adjustments to this. You can also change this, which is the star percentage. So as we decrease this, it brings in the inside points of the star. Then we could increase the number of sides to make that more of like a star burst. So with all these options here, you can really tweak what this looks like. You also have corner radius, which we can increase as well. So you can see how we can affect this polygon after we've already used the polygon tool. Now, if you like what that looks like, but it maybe seems a little bit skewed for you, you can actually look at all your settings here and say, okay, this is 11 sides, 89%. I like the 43-ish corner radius. I could grab my polygon tool again, come up here to the top and look for all those elements. So for instance, 11 sides, 43 corner radius, and then underneath this path options, you can actually adjust the star ratio. So let's say it's 89%. So once you do that, we'll actually be creating a polygon that looks the exact same. Then we could hold shift and create it proportionally, or we could not hold shift and just kind of create it however we would like. So if we like creating this polygon as like a badge icon or something, we could do that as well. And really quickly use this polygon tool to create some very different looking shapes. And every time you use it, it creates a new shape layer. And you can adjust all the properties and appearance over here in the shape properties. And that's how you can use the polygon tool here in Adobe Photoshop.